guys, welcome back. Uh, we finished up uh, field one. We put down NPK and and uh, PK and uh, Lime. Uh, so we should be good on this field. And then um, over here on field two, we're going to be putting down uh, some PK. Pull up our ladder here. I should go forward. So <clears throat> this is a barley crop again. I uh, planted a lot of barley. Uh, we uh, didn't plant any more canola. Went pretty heavy in corn and uh, soybeans. And then uh, really hoping we get a great demand for barley at uh, the Budweiser plant. Take advantage of <clears throat> just a couple hundred acres we planted. Probably have 400 acres. Um, we're close to it in barley. So we, uh, in our little uh, server chat, we were talking about, um, at least I was talking about updating our spray, and we're thinking of maybe like a uh, Hagee or like a New Holland front, front boom. <coughs> Excuse me. Or uh, uh, updating the booms on this Patriot to 120. 120 foot instead of the 90 foot that we currently have. Um, I was looking at the New Holland. New Holland is pretty basic model wise. The Hagee would be pretty cool as well. You can see our soybeans are doing quite well. So since the last video, I bought another corn header, uh, another 12-row corn header. Uh, sold the uh, 1050 Kinsey and purchased my 1500 Kinsey. Uh, bought a bought the Oxbow merger and a baler for our uh, alfalfa operation, uh, just to have it. And uh, probably going to be in the market for a 
second combine coming up here. I mean, although after this season our lease leases are up on our field, so. Gonna be interesting to see how that factors in. Anyways, uh also updated, uh, just kind of messing around in Blender today, animations and stuff like that, and made a uh, intro for both my channels now, one for uh, this one, LBJ Modding, and then another one for uh, Building in Blender um, for um, tutorials on how to build and model, and uh, it's obviously going to have some GE um, uh, work in there as well, and uh, probably some map map stuff as well. It's interesting how this uh, crop destruction works with that drive control mod. So uh, once I finish my uh, 2623 uh, tillage disc, I'm probably going to sell off my my Tiger Made cultivators and get a set of uh, big 50 foot John Deere discs. my 2720s until I eventually make like a 2730. I like to run some older tractors here on here too, like a you know some of the older older uh, case STX. We might trade off some of our new Hollands and get maybe like an STX or something. Maybe uh, Raphael will come through with his versatile. Could run a Delta track or something. The main reason behind a new sprayer is we have to get up to uh, 17 or 1600 gallon tank capacity. This one is spec at 900, I believe. So, you have a larger tank, larger working width, 
so we could reduce the uh, percentage of prop we actually destroy when we're spraying. Um, we would uh, spray in more area. Same amount of time, less refilling. Um, some of them you can get up to. I think Jake was saying you can get a deer. Uh, one of the uh, 4000 R series and like 150 foot boom, which is crazy. A lot of the the newer models have 130, 135 foot options. I know the New Holland I was looking at is like the 400 is available in 135 foot. And um, I have to look around and see what the cabs are like and what the interior is like. And maybe I could pull from like a combine or something. So I don't have to build it. That would be great. Because then I just have to model up the booms and body. And you know that's, that's cake. So it won't take very long for that. It's kind of an ugly machine, but I think it would be fun. And you could run uh, those uh, side dressing arms for taller corn, 48 inch corn. I don't know. Maybe it could be like a catchable boom or something if it's 50. I don't know. It's kind of brainstorming out loud at this point, but. I think it would be. I think it's time for a new sprayer. Since I use this one quite a bit in 13. I used my dry box by the two, but that was just kind of a Lego built thing. <sighs> and uh, being home for uh, the holidays made me think about if I were to make a new map based on uh, back where I grew up right now that's you know it's winter and like even in fall there's like no foliage on the trees so like late fall I think if, if I were to make that new map to make it a, like a this is kind of an autumn theme well fall fall harvest but late fall when there's no foliage after the leaves actually fall that's what it looked like you know I think it'd be interesting, but maybe potentially kind of an ugly map. But who knows? Just seeing all those trees without any leaves kind of made me think about it. Because I haven't really seen any maps without, you know, that kind of represent a late fall theme. We should probably spray. I don't think we're going to make it to the other end of the floor and back at 8%. I have to hop in our T600 and head back to the old farm. So if you're following the, these videos at all, you remember that all of these uh, fields we ended up plowing, you know, we ended up 
plowing like 60% of her fields. All of this was plowed. All of this was plowed. So, and then like everything behind me was also plowed. So we did, we did, we turned over quite a bit of soil. And uh, we were all pretty sick at the end of it. I mean, we all probably lied. You know, 10, 15 hours of tillage each. So. Wondering if that ever got planted. So that's like 48 inch corn over on the, the left here. We got quite a bit of corn, we got beans on the right. Get a better view. So we got quite a bit of soybeans planted over around here. A lot of draper works. Could be a lot of draper works. So the other plan is to either make my finish up my 50 foot disc or turn this into a 60 foot field cultivator. Um, and this thing, this thing works just fine. Anyways, what do we have? Sold the old So I picked up a new he header. We need to get another combine. Um I could almost get a wall. Not really. I'm trying to think where the truck is. Oh. <laughs> Got more corn. I'll show you that. Those mailboxes. going to be some high yielding corn. And currently we have 
soybeans ready to harvest over here. I don't think we ever ended up planting 20. Park it there and call it a day. Man, I really want to sell that K stuff so I can motivate myself to finish that uh, uh, 50 foot disc. But uh, thanks for watching.